Welcome to Bulga Socks TV. We've got lots of classic and original TV shows. Subscribe now and enjoy the video. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! Grandpa! Jemima and Grandpa. And today I was showing him something new. Do you like my new helmet, Grandpa? I certainly do. You want to see my binoculars? It was a lovely sunny day. Mum and Dad were taking me and Jemima for a bike ride around Sunny Sands. Our town is called Sunny Sands because it's always sunny and it's by the sea. We love spending time at our beach at on the beach. And you can see the lighthouse from my bedroom window. This is Mum and Dad's bike shop, and here's Miss Smiley's cafe, which serves the best ice cream sundaes in the world. Then there's Mr Whoops's shop, where you can buy anything and everything. And best of all, you can get to all of these places by bike. Oh, I do miss all those cycling trips. We used to have such a good time, didn't we, Wolfie? Eh? You used to sit in the basket at the front. <laughs> Must be awful not being able to ride a bike anymore. Poor old Grandpa, stuck indoors day after day. Doesn't stop me having fun, though. No. This was the day that I discovered... Nothing stops Grandpa. Hurry up, Jason. I'm gonna stop at Mr Whoops's toy shop on the way. Mum's buying us a treat. Ah, do I get a treat, too? I could do with a bird-watching book. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Everyone loves Mr Whoops. He owns the toy shop in Sunny Sands, which is the best toy shop in the world. You can buy anything and everything here. Mr Whoops is great fun. And he loves his toy shop as much as we do. <sighs> I love Mr Whoops' shop. I'll help you choose something. But, Grandpa, you're not coming. Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Silly me. I knew what Grandpa was thinking. Should we go then? Bye, Grandpa. See you See later. You later Bye. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa. Catch me if you can. You know when Grandpa shrinks, he can get up to all kinds of mischief. Run along shelves. Grandpa, stop! He can hide behind things. Grandpa! Grandpa, come back! Grandpa, watch out! He can jump off high places. He can run away from me. Grandpa, stop! Yes, when Grandpa's small, he has more energy than anybody. Before I could stop him, Grandpa jumped into my backpack. I was about to get him out when Dad came in. Jason, we're waiting for you. Oh, where's Grandpa? Ah, gone for a little lie down, has he? Come on. Of course, Dad has no idea about the shrinking cap and no idea that Grandpa was coming with us. So we got on our bikes and cycled to Mr Whoops's shop. Mr Whoops is called Mr Whoops because he's always having little accidents. Every time he knocks something over, he goes... Whoops! He helped Jemima choose a pink bucket and spade. He helped Dad choose a book about seabirds. And he helped Mum choose a sketch pad and some paints. Oh, what a 
I had Grandpa to help me choose. Look, Jason, over there. That's the very thing. I love kites. We can fly it on the beach. I'm not sure a kite's the right treat for today, Jason. There's no wind. Please, Dad, it's the only thing I want. OK, then. Up to you. Buy it, Jason. We'll get it to fly. Promise. So, we got back on our bikes and soon we were at the beach. Luckily, Jemima was making a sand pie. Dad was looking out for seabirds. And Mum was doing her latest hobby. Mum's always taking up new hobbies. One week it's karate, then it's salsa dancing, then cake decorating, the ukulele, knitting, opera singing, and now she's taking up drawing and painting. So nobody saw Grandpa helping me with the kite. If you get that kite to fly, Jason Mason, I'll eat my socks in a sandwich. Oh, I look forward to that. We're going to do it, Jason. Wait and see. I've got a brilliant plan. But before Grandpa could tell me what his brilliant plan was, Mum came over. Um, could you pass me that bucket, Jason? I need to get some water for my paints. Um, it's all right. I'll get it. You go back and sit down. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot under there. I've got to find you another hiding place. I don't want to hide, I want to fly the kite. The kite, that'll do. Oh. Now stay there and don't move. I'll be right back. I went down to the sea to get some water for Mum. I was hoping Grandpa was going to behave himself and stay under the kite. Luckily, Jemima was digging a hole with her new pink spade. Dad was looking at pictures in his new bird book. And Mum was getting ready to use her new paints. Thank you, Jason. No luck with the kite, then. Uh, try again, Jason. I'll help. I really want to see Dad eating a sock sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's OK, honest, I, I... For once, I was glad that Grandpa hadn't done what he was told. But where was he now? There's no wind at all. You never do it in a million years. I knew Grandpa was planning to do it a lot sooner than that. But first, I needed to find him. Psst! Jason, over here. Whew. Grandpa! That was close. So what's this brilliant plan, then? Haven't you guessed? I'm going to use a little bit of Grandpa magic. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, he can do all sorts of amazing things. He can drive my toy car, zoom off in my plane. Oh, yes. When Grandpa's wearing his shrinking cap, anything he gets into or onto will go. He can even fly around on Gordon, my toy seagull. And now he was using his magic to do this. Are you sure you're going to be all right, Grandpa? Yes, I'll be fine. As long as you hold on tight to the string. Are you ready? Up, up and away! <sighs> this time, Grandpa had gone too far. <laughs> I don't believe it! Mum! Dad! Look! Oh, how on earth? That's incredible, Jason. Of course, I had to pretend it was me making it fly. What's that funny blob on the end of the tail? The good news was that the kite was too high for them to see that the funny blob was Grandpa. The bad news was that Dad was about to look through his binoculars. These are really powerful. I'll be able to see everything in tiny detail. This was a disaster. Any moment, Grandpa's secret would be out. There was only one thing to do. Let go. Oh, Jason. Sorry. It's too far away now. I can't see. What a shame. Lost your kite. I hadn't just lost my kite, I'd lost Grandpa. 
I couldn't lose Grandpa. Who would I read stories with? Who would I play games with? Who would I put in my pocket? I spent the afternoon worrying about where he was. Then we all came home. What was I going to say when they found out that Grandpa wasn't in his room having a little lie down? But I needn't have worried. Look, Jason, your kite! <gasps> How did it get in our tree? That's really weird. No, it's not. It's fantastic. Mum, Dad, Jason's kite's in the tree. Grandpa, are you there? Of course I'm here. Hold your hands out. I'm going to jump. I rush past the others into the sitting room and put Grandpa down. He took off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Oh. I'm still glad you're safe, Grandpa. Oh, I had a great time. Much more fun than riding a bike. <laughs> I'm sorry I let go of the string, but there was no choice. You did the right thing, Jason. Teamwork. Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> Do you fancy a bite of my sock sandwich, Jason? No way! Jason flew the kite and there was no wind! You should have seen it, Grandpa. It was like magic. Magic? Oh, I love a bit of magic. Don't I, Jason? Mm. 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 <laughs> Hey, Willie boy, you're supposed to be peeling spuds in the galley. The captain will be hopping mad if he catches you skylarking. D watch it, here he comes. Pirate William, how often do I have to tell you that suffering seagulls? Why didn't I think of it before? Willie, you're a genius. <laughs> You've given me the very idea I was looking for. <laughs> Oh, stone of crow's nest. Me nerves is shattered. Very upset making, I'm sure, Pirate B. Willie, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. What's he up to, then? He's making some. It, 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 watch out, he's coming. Oh. Oh. Uh, careful now. Easy does it. Remember, this is the greatest invention since the wheel. Uh, put it down on the deck. It, oh dear, whatever have you been a good at dad this time, Captain? Hey, <laughs> it's a kite! Precisely, Willie, but this is no ordinary kite. It is a kite designed to carry a man high above the masthead. Uh, let me explain. <laughs> In the ordinary way, one can only see a few miles from the crow's nest, but with this monster kite floating high above the ship, we shall be able to see for miles, spot enemy ships long before they see us, and pounce on them unawares. <laughs> it's the sensation of the century. Oh, yeah. But how'd you take off in the first place? Air currents, Pirate Barnabas. The forward motion of the ship, the upward movement of the breeze. A simple when you have an education like mine. <laughs> right, now who's going up first? Chippering jellyfish. Where have they all gone? Well, it looks like it's going to be you, Captain. Oh, very well. Uh, master mate, uh, wherever you are, I want the weather forecast. Yeah, uh, aye, aye, Captain. Uh, that is, uh, uh, yes, Captain. Uh, 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 here is the shipping forecast. Winds fresh to strong and variable. Oh, well, that's all I need, Master Mate. Uh, come, Tom, to the poop deck and carefully. Very soon, all was ready. Pugwash sat in his kite while Willie stood by on the winch. Prepare for takeoff. More sail, me hearties. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, Captain. Full speed it is. And I'm away. <laughs> Whoopee! It's 
That's fantastic. Higher, Willie. Higher. Aye, aye, Captain. Just think of it. I could be free. Free to... Can't hear. Say it again. Could be free, I said. Could be free. He <laughs> he, cut me free. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we go. Whoa! Oh! Oh dear, let's toad it. It's all right. We're coming, Captain. Well, hurry up then. The water. <laughs> it's wet. <laughs> Staggering starfish. What about me? It's all right, Captain. We got the kite. Yeah, the sensation of the century. Couldn't risk losing that. Aye, the greatest invention since the wheel. <laughs> Don't worry, Captain. We'll come back for you later. Lucy and this is Rosie. Hello Rosie. Let's put Rosie here. And this is Fizz. Hello Fizz and Rosie and Fizz have been very busy today playing with their toys and inside their toy box are lots of clues for today's story. Shall we have a look? There's a kite, whoosh, some leaves, crunchy leaves, and a sweeping brush. Rosie and Fizz are sweeping up and we're going to help them. So are you ready? Let's switch to story time. And we switch to story time by making a big story clock. Can you make a big story clock with me? After three, one, two, three, a big story clock with seconds, minutes and hours. And pretend your body is the big hand and put your little hand like this and join in with me. Tick tock, it's the story clock. It must be time for a story. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Are you ready for a story? Stretch up high, stretch down low. Wriggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Tick tock, it's the story clock. Hands up, who's ready for a story? It was a windy day and the garden path was full of leaves. So many leaves that the wheels of Fizz's aeroplane kept getting stuck. Let's sweep up, said Rosie. That's a good idea, said Fizz. You can sweep up and I'll put the leaves into a big pile. We can sing the sweeping song too. Are you ready? Sweep the leaves across the floor Up and down and sweep once more Brush them, scoop them, make a heap Are you ready? Sweep, sweep, sweep And as Rosie swept, Fizz put the leaves into a big pile And what a big pile it was! The trouble was, the big pile of leaves started to talk It said, oh yes, I shall be very happy here And then, ah. Uh -huh. 
ah, ah, choo! And all the leaves blew up into the air. Underneath was Hedgehog. Hello, Rosie. Hello, Fizz, said Hedgehog, wiping his nose. These leaves are the perfect place for me to... Oh, go to sleep. Hello, Hedgehog, it's you, said Fizz. Don't go to sleep yet. There's work to do. Suddenly, there was a gust of wind, whoosh, and the leaves whirled and swirled in the air. And it wasn't just the leaves in the air. Look at that big bird, said Fizz, that's landed in our tree. Rosie, Fizz and Hedgehog took a closer look. It doesn't sing or squawk like a bird, said Rosie. And look at this long piece of ribbon, said Fizz. That's not a bird, said Hedgehog. That's a kite. Look up in the sky. With that, more kites flew by. Kites in the shape of trains, boats and dinosaurs. Oh dear, said Fizz, but this kite is stuck in our tree. Let's try and pull it. After three... One, two, three, pull! But the trouble was, the kite was stuck. I know, thought Rosie. There's a ladder at the bottom of our garden. We could climb up and reach the kite. That's a good idea, said Fizz. So Rosie, Fizz and Hedgehog went to fetch the ladder. Fizz and Hedgehog held the ladder tightly as Rosie climbed up. But the trouble was, the ladder wibbled and wobbled in the wind. Come down, Rosie, said Fizz. That ladder looks a bit too wibbly wobbly to me. The kite was still stuck. Let's ask Owl, said Fizz. Owl will help. As Owl swooped down, the wind whisked the kite to the top of the tallest tree. Uh-oh, said Fizz. Leave this to me. And Fizz put on his flying goggles. Are you ready? After three, one, two, three, flying goggles on. Rosie, am I clear for takeoff? Rosie swept away the last of the leaves from the garden path. Clear, said Rosie. One, two, three, whoosh! Fizz twisted and turned in the air, and with a loop the loop, Fizz grabbed the string of the kite. Well done, Fizz, said Rosie. And Rosie and Hedgehog clapped and cheered. Rosie and Fizz flew the kite all day and when the moon came up Hedgehog snuggled under the leaves and went to sleep. Good night Hedgehog said Rosie and Fizz. And that was the story of Rosie and Fizz sweep up. It's nearly time for Rosie and Fizz to go but just before we do there's just time to stick the kite the leaves and the sweeping brush inside the Rosie and Fizz storybook. So Rosie and Fizz will always remember their adventure and they can tell their friends all about it. Thank you for joining us and why don't you join us next time for another story. I wonder what toys we'll find inside the toy box. We'll see you then. Bye! Bye!